Well, as a kind of uh, toy example of the uh, questions we deal with in topology, uh, we can consider the uh, letters of the alphabet. Okay, so we've drawn these here as uh, subsets of the plane R2. And uh, <clears throat> we notice that uh, you know, some of these different uh, letters are, are kind of topologically equivalent to each other, uh, which we can see by kind of straightening them out. So we uh, straighten out the uh, left out, and we find that uh, yeah, quite a few of them are, are, are sort of become the same. And so uh, we go back to here. I mean, this was the uh, here's the letter C. There's the letter L. There's the letter G. And if we well, it does it's slightly sensitive to exactly how we draw these, but uh, but yeah, you see the, the letter C really just consists of a, a single uh, you know, a, a single straight line. Uh, and, um, like a, like the unit interval except bent round, and similarly the uh, the letter L is is just like a single unit interval, but uh, it's been uh, bent around into a right angle here, and uh, and then the M is again is a single straight line, except it's been uh, been uh, bent in a couple of places. Um, so when we straighten these out like this, they they all just uh, become a straight line, and they they're topologically equivalent to each other in a certain sense. Um, um, in the precise sense we're talking about, uh, is, yeah, these spaces are actually homeomorphic. Um, so we need to, uh, uh, in, the, in the lectures and the notes and so on, we need to uh, uh, say, uh, discuss the formal definitions of what that means. But uh, informally, you can see what's going on just by, by doing this kind of bending. Um, yeah. Similarly, yeah, the, you've got the letter D here is, is basically the same as letter O. It's just kind of bent in a slightly different way. Um, and the letter T here, you know, just consists of two lines uh, just meeting in a single point, and that's uh, it's basically the same as the Y. Um, I'm not drawing the Y here. Okay, but then the uh, but the, the K here, you know, basically consists of four lines uh, joining at a point, uh, which is the same as this X over here. Um, yeah, so if we uh, um, we straighten out the K or we straighten out the X, we just get exactly the same pattern. Um, and here we've got more or less the same picture, except that we've uh, we've grouped the letters according to their their topological similarity. Um, so along here, C, G, L, M, N, S, U, V, W, all of those they just consist like of a single line, and uh, when we straighten them out, you know, they just become obviously unit intervals, and so they're all homeomorphic to each other. Similarly, the E, F, J, T, Y. All of those uh, can be kind of straightened out into a T-shape, and so they're all homeomorphic to each other. And here we have the F, H and the I, which are the same, and the K and the X, which are the same, although they're different from each other. Um, and then on this line, the O and the D are the same. Um, the, uh, the A, Q, and the B, they're all kind of, uh, they're all separate. Um, <coughs> So, uh, so how could we actually sort of prove some of these things? Well, uh, you know, if we want to prove that the C is homeomorphic to the L, you know, it's not actually so hard to, uh, uh, to just write down an actual formula for homeomorphism between the C and the L. And in fact, in order to produce this kind of uh, uh, this this little uh, computer demonstration thing, I mean, you, you know, the computer demonstration contains a formula for the, uh, the homeomorphism between the C and the L. But suppose we want to prove that the C is not homeomorphic to the E. Well, it's less obvious how to do that. So uh, we'll have a, uh, a little section in the course uh, uh, showing uh, showing how to do uh, do, uh, do specific invariants, which allow us to distinguish the C from the E in a formal way. And that's kind of like a, a very uh, a toy example of the methods of algebraic topology that we'll develop later on that allow us to uh, prove that uh, much more complicated spaces are not homeomorphic to each other. 